Marvel Technologies profit soars. Hello, I'm Kim McNicholas in Silicon Valley on the Forbes.com video network. More on the chipmaker's Q3 results in just a moment, but first to the markets. The Dow closed down nearly 87 points, the Nasdaq was off almost 12, and the S&P 500 slipped 9 points. To the after-hours action, Marvel Technology Group, which makes chips used in data storage and communications products, saw its shares jump 6% after hours on a better-than-expected Q3 report. The company reported a profit of of 32 cents per share compared to 12 cents a year earlier. On an adjusted basis, Marvel came in at 35 cents per share, 8 cents above estimates. Tyson food shares are up a couple of pennies after hours on word that its beef, pork and prepared food segments are making more money than the company actually expected in its fiscal 2009. And FedEx shares jumped nearly 70 cents or nearly 1 percent in extended trading on word that the company has increased its standard list rates for FedEx ground and FedEx home delivery by an average of 4.9 percent effective January 4, 2010. Now to the after hours laggards. Novell beat the street by four cents per share, coming in with earnings of 11 cents, and yet shares of the open source software company fell nearly 4% after hours on a grim outlook for Q1. And shares of Diamond Foods also fell 3% after hours despite a better than expected fiscal first quarter report. The company reported earnings of 88 cents per share, seven cents above the street's view, but guidance was mixed for the snack food maker. And Bank of America's shares slipped nearly 2% in late trading after the company said it raised more than $19 billion selling new shares to help it pay back federal bailout loans. With a look at the markets after hours, I'm Kim McNicholas on the Forbes.com video network.